Hi, everybody. I'm Jim. Yeah, and I'm Rich. Okay, I almost forgot who I was there. <laughs> We're still playing Minecraft. Uh, I only um, had three hours of sleep. Leave me alone. So it has come to our attention that we don't really have enough space, or enough machines, to do the things that we need them to do. Yeah. So we are going... I'm going to make some small adjustments to the workshop today to help automate that. And I'm going looking for silverwood trees. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the next thing gating you on uh, doing magic, isn't it? Yep. So here's what we're going to do. So I built two more pulverizers. So we're going to put that here. No, wrong spot. Here. And we're going to put one here. Now, those... Do we have a dolly, Rick? Yes, we do. Is it in the storage system? It should be. Oh, yeah, excellent. I will say, I absolutely love the wireless access. Well done. Yeah, but again, we're going to need more power. Yeah, I thought that wasn't going to work. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm off to find the magical forest. Okay, so now they all have power. Now we're going to need some hoppers. Thought we had one. Ah, now to find the silverwood trees. So what these are designed to do is take input from elsewhere. So right now I can put anything into these three pulverizers and they will output to that chest. Which is cool. Hmm. I found a tower. Ooh, neat. Apparently it's got arrow traps, it's got cobwebs, I'm worried about illusionary floors. This isn't what I came here for, but it, it's shiny. Hmm, that does seem shiny. Uh, let's open this chest. Okay, I didn't get killed. That's a good uh, thing. Uh, hey, a switch. Turns on some lights. Yay! So the one problem about places like this is they tend to have illusionary floors with spikes underneath them. <laughs> you know how it is, right? So now we're going to grab another chest. I'm actually going to grab Jeez, two. And we're scary. going to connect these using item ducts. Tin ingots. And glass. What did I find? What did I find? I oh, found a shocking glass. stone trinket of swiftness. Causes lightning when used, unbreaking three, increases speed by seven percent. Interesting. I mean, this place isn't any less scary. <laughs> we do not have a crafting table. In the uh... invisible obsidian pressure plate. Excuse me. Those are all words that I don't particularly like. It's on top of an arrow trap. So let's see if the quartz glass will work for this. Nope. We are gonna need a hardened glass. Flesh. 
we have an induction smelter. So we can put this in one of these new pulverizers. Well, I made it to the top. I didn't find anything else interesting up here. There's probably paths, paths I didn't take. But, uh, oh, wait, there's a node in that tree. I can't cut it down. There we go. Damn, if I cut this tree down, I'll lose that node. Let's punch some more uh, blocks out. use lead ingots for that. Well, I sure hope you're not using tin for lead. No, no, no. You know, I don't think I'm too worried about destroying that node. It's a pretty crappy one. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I chop down this tree with the lumber axe, it should end up completely destroying that node that's in there. Or it'll just leave the node block. Pig, this is a good way to get yourself killed for bacon. Oh dear. And it starts. Pig's in my way. Pig's gonna pig, man. Should pig somewhere else. I mean, I take my bacon very seriously here, and he's looking very tasty. Did I tell you, I'm finally going to try a veggie burger uh, soon. Um, no, but that's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to have bacon and cheese on it. Uh, that is a thing that people actually keep asking me, asking me if I want. Bacon and cheese on a veggie burger? Yup. I do. Lord tells me it would be terrible. It is a thing that some people want something I want. Ah, uh, clock. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna organize this like by barbarians. Due to the fact that... Your organizational skills are terrible? Uh, no, mostly that this is gonna be a workshop reorganization anyway. So ideally it's just going to dump everything in this chest. Normally what I would do is hide the pulverizers. Oh, perfect. Where'd it go? I know I saw you. Oh, is it glitching and not properly dropping yet? Grab some cobblestone. Try this. Guy. This tree is a tease. It's a tease? Oh, it's got um, a sapling that's supposedly s trying to drop, but it's kind of glitching from way up, so it's not falling and letting me pick it up. Hence, this tree is a tease. <laughs> See, your neighbor's paying the price, tree. Yeah, give me your sapling. I'm gonna grab all of my servos. We're actually gonna grab both of my servos. Oh, tree, you're a monster on the levels of Jim. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Now it goes into one of them, so if we. I got the sapling. If we have available objects. Oh, it's also feeding into the chest. There we go. Let's 
So it'll fill this one up first, and once that one is full, it will fill the other two. And then we'll output it all into this iron chest here. Okay. So I can take a bunch of cobblestone. Nobody saw that. Oh dear. I can put it in here. And it'll immediately... Here, and I'm just going to clean up my edges. Yeah, oh, nobody saw that either. So I got another present for you, Jim. What's that? I'll show you when I get back. Okay. You wouldn't want me to spoil the surprise, would you? Mm -hmm. Tempted. Don't you trust my surprises? No, no I don't. Don't worry, I got a new visitor for your workshop. You told me you were looking for something earlier. Oh, chickens. Yes, I am. You know why? They're going to make feathers. You know what feathers do? Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's right. They put arrows in the crossbow. Lucille. So we now have a three pulverizer set up. And now we're going to do the same thing with redstone furnaces. So, uh, so there's one problem here. with silverwood saplings and trees. You're not actually guaranteed to get a sapling out when you chop one down. So silverwood mm -hmm. is going to be a rare commodity. Uh, silverwood is always a rare commodity. That's how it works. Put a hopper on it. I need to try something. Where are you, Jim? Uh, standing in the workshop. Cool. Hold still. This is this going to hurt? No, apparently it's going to crash my game. Neat. Damn it, it was supposed to do lightning or something. Welcome to the Mono Gym Show. Yep, I'll be stopping here, leaving, going to bed or something. Bringing you all the news that matters. The only news that matters. So that was just a temporary setback. Oops. I'm disappointed that I did not get to electrocute you, though. After all okay. those those deaths... No, you're not forgiven. I'm a very bitter man. Especially since I don't get to sit in my wind tunnel. Okay, so I made that trip. That will allow me to make Alembics. Well, what, what did you make what? Alembics to go on top of my um, alchemical furnace. Oh, neat. All right. Uh, it would probably help if I looked up the actual recipe before I start trying to pull out parts. So I'm going to need gold and silver wood, planks, to make ingots. Jim won't notice this. Um, two Olympics should be good. I won't notice what? Did you notice yet? Are you melting villagers? No. I probably don't care. Safe to say I'm not super worried. You will be when you hear it. Okay. I put my fan on. Mmm. Don't blame me, blame the audience. Eh. I, I mean, can't hear it. That's cool. Okay. I figure I'll need a few of these V filters. Get eight of them for now. Uh, things I will need for Lembix. I will need 
two buckets, two gold, and ten more iron on top of that. Oh, these wireless terminals are great. So, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, and ten more on top of that to sixteen. And I still have gold, so I should be good. Alright, so we got the servo in place. So now, anything we put in this chest will go through all these furnaces, or one of these furnaces, and into here. And anything we put in this chest will go through all of these pulverizers, or any of these pulverizers, and wind up in here. So now, I can do things like this. I now have two Olympics. As soon as I put some stuff back in the storage system. Um, hmm. <clears throat> right, I can't jump a mile in the air anymore. Nope. You had an accident. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really annoyed over that loss. That thing was the best. I'm, I'm sad for you. I genuinely am. No, you're not. You were jealous of my jumping around. I have a jetpack. So did I. Yeah. Till I, I took a to. swim in some lava. Alright. <sighs> and now the sucker's just gonna straight fill up with uh, sand so I can make more things. Jim, 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 Jim. Yeah. I was looking at mechanism stuff just now in my NEI. Mm -hmm. Obsidian TNT. Neat. I don't know what it does. But you want some. But I, I, I want some. Now the other thing we're going to make is an auto crafting station. Okay. So at this point all I have left to make are warded jars. Maybe some essential pi uh, pipes to pump them out of my Olympics. But I'm pretty much gated behind hours of breaking down essences. So, I'm going to have some fun. Oh, that's never good. Oh, it'll be fine. That's not a thing that people say when things are actually fine. <clears throat> it'll be fine. Everything's fine. So, I mean, here's so alchemy caps. Just iron ingot. And I'm pretty sure an actual crafting table. I'm pretending yep. to skip in-game. That's... that's th th this whole thing is still very worrying. Oh, it's not like I'm sacrificing people to a blood altar. I can't see you. I don't know that. Well, it's because I don't have a blood altar yet. Ooh, I can make a blood altar. Jam, would yeah. you like to donate blood? No, I'm trying to figure out why the automatic crafting table won't create. Uh, what else do I need for this? It's probably because I'm doing something wrong. Probably, but I'm going to make you solve this one on your own. That seems fine. So I've discovered something that I need to get doing, is I really need to get a couple golems made, and their cores made, to uh, start farming oh, ender lilies for me. Ears. Why? Why do I want them to farm ender lilies for me? I mean, apart from the obvious reasons. So we have more ender pearls. Sure. Work. Don't I mean I'm suspicious because of all the skipping, really. Oh no, the skipping's because I'm gonna do some magical stuff. See, here, I'll, here I'll, I'll come skip by you. There we go. We have an auto workbench. Haha! I know where you are now. Damn it! Move. No, I'm skipping. Move. <sighs> You're no fun. Yes, for anybody watching, I'm now pouting at my computer. 
Muffin. I'm so sad for you. Elk can be catalyst. Elk can be catalyst. I don't know what you're doing, but it sounds dark, like dark magic, and I don't hold with dark magic. I haven't started any dark magic. Translation. Wait. I haven't um. Any dark magic lately. Okay, I haven't actually done any dark magic. I may have been. Um, man, skipping around here is fun. I may have been researching dark magic, but I haven't actually done any yet. That doesn't make me feel better. Why do you think that would make me feel better? Because I haven't actually got around to doing it yet. Okay, so now we've got that. Okay. Check this iron chest. Look at all this sand that's that's coming in. Now we're going to take all this and turn it into sandstone. You know what so I did? First thing I do is lay out the pattern in the auto workbench. Fill this chest with sand, which will feed into the hopper, which will feed into the workbench, which will output sandstone to the to this chest. Any time now. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. I'm just confused. I have missed a trick, that's why. The hopper goes on the other side. Jim, see what I got out here? Uh, do I want to? Is it dark magic related? No. Uh, Kinda. May that it's is flower magic. It's it's flower magic. Flower magic can be dark magic. Don't don't let anyone tell you that flower magic can't be dark magic. Realize your do, fucking do, do, do. dark flower magic. Dreams, I guess. Here, I'll come find you and show you what I got. All right, what do you got? What do you got? A cactus. Oh damn! So another one We're behind cactuses you. now. I've got some planted already. Nice. Well done. All right. Previous dark magic kings forgiven temporarily. I mean, I made these cactus out of slime balls. Seems fine. And I had to steal two blaze rods to do it. Yep, seem, seem, still seems fine. But now that I got that done, you know what I can do now? No. Since you were giving me heck about, you know, getting in on your whole engineering groove. Yeah. I can go make a blood altar. Oh. Yeah. You know, since you seem to have problems with me, uh... <clears throat> Do an engineering. Thank you so much. Brain. My brain stopped working for a second there. That seems to be a frequent occurrence. Mm, it's true. Here's what we're going to do. No, no, no. That was the opposite of what we wanted. Just here. We're apparently going to smash everything. We're going to build a second hopper. Actually, I think we've still got a hopper in here. Okay. So. Shoot. Chest. Hopper. I feel sorry for whoever's Auto editing this uh, video. That would be me. Yeah. You get to watch all my skipping around. I go to my digger's backpack. This is barbaric. I really need to redo this workshop. I just want it to be pretty when I do, and that means I need a whole mess of sandstone. 
my place looks better. It does. Good lord, this is... This is evil, Jim. This um, is just... It looks so messed up. Why do you uh, have a hopper feeding into a chest from underneath a redstone furnace? Oh, because if you put this furnace directly on top of the chest, you can't open it. Why did we need three furnaces? <laughs> because the amount of stuff why, we have been pulverizing why, and furnacing Why did we not just upgrade the furnace? <sighs> now we can upgrade all the furnaces. That's it. I'm just going to go play with my blood Why altar. do we need a blood altar, Rich? Sacrifice yeah. skeletons? Yeah. Why, why do we have a giant flower garden? Why do anything? Because magic. Similarly, magic. So now, my sandstone is wonderfully automated. Put this in here. Put that in there. The other thing I need to do is we found some more Krechnerite. Which means I can be in Krechnerite boots. You're welcome. You did build a meteor shield. And I've also been letting you use all those without trying to steal any for myself. Well, I'm the one that's going to the nether and fighting blazes on account of one of us had a little accident. Hey Jim, come down here for a second. Why is that? There, now I have e I am even more fire resistant. Come down, check out the blood altar. I mean, this is only a temporary spot for how it. How do I but... get to your... Oh, yeah. I'm like, how do I get to your basement again now that I... Because that you, you keep filling up my hole. I haven't touched your hole lately. Not since the probing. All right. What am I looking at? Why do I always see you coming at me with a crossbow? Uh, because I... See? I, too, have concerns. Here. Take that for a second. Okay, stand near the sacrificial altar, and I think it's right-click, or is it left-click? No, no, I and don't use think... It. No, I'm I'm good, thanks. No, come I, on. I think I'll just uh um you know, put this down. Back up slowly. Hey, come on, hold on for a second. Stand right there, I wanna see if what if, if I wanna see if I hit you, if it'll add anything to that. Uh, I can't tell. You can get through my armor. Nope. <laughs> Don't shoot me, by the way. I'm, like, one hit from death. I'm not gonna shoot you, probably. I am going to go to the nether and get some blaze rods. Actually, uh, Sacrificial Knife does not actually have any, uh, damn it, attack power. I gotta figure out how the hell to tell what's in there. Uh, I'll figure out blood magic a bit later. Charge up my jetpack. Right now. Some things, I'm gonna do some non-magical things. This I need. Oh, I'll make a fresh one. Just in case. Jim, there's a floating eyeball. I don't know anything about that, and I'm leaving because there's a floating eyeball. I'm going to the nether where it's safe. Oh yeah, like there's not floating eyeballs in the nether. Fair. So I actually have two jobs in the nether. Um, the first of which is kill blazes, the second of which is scout a location for power station beta. Okay, while he's doing that, I get to play with stuff he doesn't see. I swear to god, I will check on your little magic thing. What? No, this is magic. Honest. I don't believe you. Nobody seems to believe me. Ow, that spider just withered me. 
you deserved it? No, I'm fine. Go, little pump. Yeah, this endothermic pump, I'm digging it. But for the other one, we're going to need to find a separate lava lake. Where we're going to put power station beta. But we'll do that next episode. Of Dragon Ball Z. Ah.